Field archaeologist Seth Van Dam recently conducted a survey of Fort Allen Park. He will present his findings at the annual meeting of the Friends of the Eastern Promenade on October 3rd. Leslie talked with Seth and Friends President Diane Davidson about his hunt for history. Well, thank you, Diane and Seth, for being here today. Um, Friends of Eastern Prom is uh, alive and kicking, um, but you have an annual meeting coming up. Diane, you want to start by telling us a little bit about the meeting and what's going to be happening there? Sure. Um, we'll be hosting our uh, annual meeting on October 3rd at East End Community School. And that's always a chance for us to kind of highlight what our accomplishments have been over the previous year and uh, look towards the future, of course. And we've got a lot of uh, great presentations coming up for this coming meeting. Um, you know, most of them centered around Fort Allen uh, Park and the rehabilitation that we're uh, taking under control or underway and um, that should go to bid in December and hopefully construction will start in March and uh, born out of that uh, we're really excited that uh, Seth Van Dam is going to do a presentation. Um, Seth is a um, research graduate student at Indiana University of Pennsylvania and got in touch with Friends of the Eastern Prom through our website seeking to conduct a geophysical survey of Fort Allen's battery and surrounding areas. And it was perfect timing, so we're, we're very excited. Well, that sounds really exciting. So you're a geologist. No, I'm an archaeologist. An archaeologist. Yeah, but I do geophysics. Okay, so, so tell us a little bit about what um, your talk will be about and what's happening up there at Fort Allen. Well, I'll discuss a little bit of the equipment that I used in my geophysical survey that um, I, I did ground penetrating radar and uh, um, magnetic uh, conductivity surveys. And so it was um, challenging, but it was very interesting and uh, found, and uh, found some very interesting stuff. So I'll be showing what um, the preliminary work. I mean, mm -hmm. there's still some more work to do. I got to verify what I actually see mm -hmm. on the surface by some uh, ground truthing, which will involve mostly coring. Right. So this is uh, will give you more of an archaeological history of what has happened yeah, in that part. Yeah, it'll be of like a, give you an idea of a site formation process mm -hmm. of essentially how it went from hopefully the earlier periods of like colonialism all the way up. But I've noticed a lot of the transformations in the Victorian period have done its effect on the, the site. Right. Can, uh, it's very prominent. Well, I can imagine because during the Victorian period is where a lot of the, the transition took place up there. Yeah. After the fire and then building during that period. Yeah. Um, it's, definitely, it's definitely there. But there's definitely some interesting things that I, I didn't expect that I did find, which was very interesting. And were your tools rather complicated or yes. mostly on computer now? Uh, they're all computers and stuff, but they're like multiple computers talking to each other. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. so for every like hour in the field, there's about three hours of processing to, to go through and, and hopefully, and some of the equipment you just don't know what, if it's good data mm -hmm. until you come home and download it and then mm -hmm. you just have to pray. Now, what um, what made you choose this particular site? Uh, I was um, I always knew um, for my graduate thesis I wanted to do something in Portland, and so you're from Portland. Or? Well, I've lived in Portland for like about fifteen years mm -hmm. now, so yeah, I guess now <laughs> I can consider <laughs> myself from Portland. Yeah. But um, so uh, I knew I wanted to do something, and I knew uh, I'm always been interested in uh, military mm -hmm. history, anyways, <coughs> and so I came up with uh, doing it. and then they were working on it too so it was like it just it was worked meant to yeah be. it was meant to be yeah. so yeah. Diane when you know we, we don't have much time but uh, once you get your study complete and and your degree mm. um, what do you hope to do with this information will there be some kind of a kiosk will there be something on the prom where we can find out or tourists can come and say wow this happened here yeah, well, certainly, Leslie. Once we get the um, you know the groundwork of the Fort Allen rehabilitation in place and the mm -hmm. landscaping, et cetera, we will be looking at doing informational kiosks, and this is going to serve as a great resource for us to be able to put all the information out there. Fantastic. And, uh, now to education. go to the meeting, we've got to wrap it up. Um, the meeting is the meeting is October third, uh, six to eight p.m. at East End Community School. 
and you can also find out all the information, everything you want to know about the rehabilitation project. Seth's information okay. will also be at our website at easternpromenade.org. Thank you both for being here. It sounds thank fascinating. Yeah, thank you.